Pingua. Hi, it's Mary from Pingua. Thanks so much for coming by. We're going to do a remix today, a remix of this owl survival challenge game, and we're going to make it a game about bats. So we're going to first of all start with replacing all the sprites that in what we're going to need for the remixed game. So we need a bat and we need a dragonfly. The dragonfly is going to replace the hare because that is the prey of the bat will be the predator for the dragonfly instead of the owl being the predator for the hare. And then we're going to get a star to replace the snowflakes. And we're going to resize that. Okay, that's a little too small. I'm changing the size again a little bit. There we go. Okay, we do not need polar bears in this game because it's going to mostly take place in this sky. And then we are going to go and get that sky and then repaint it. So I'm painting it into sort of a dusk scene. There we go. And now comes the copying of the code part. And what you do here is you take the piece of code and see how I hovered over the bat and the bat gave a little wiggle. When you go back and look, that code should be there. Now this can be finicky. And so I suggest that you double check, triple check and quadruple check. There we think we've copied all those five pieces of code. Now let's go in the bat and see. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, hmm looking all around and no, the fifth piece of code is not there. So let's try that again. Hover over the bat and it gives a little wiggle. Then we check in the bat and now it is there. Okay, we're all set. We have all five. Now let's look at the code for the hair, which is going to be copied into the dragonfly. So we'll take the first one, take it over, wait to see the dragonfly do a little wiggle. Yes, it went. And then back over to the hair, get the other piece of code see if it went yes that one went as well now back in the hair we look at this one that talks about the lives the lives is a variable so let's make a variable just for the dragonfly we go to the orange codes and we get new variable give it the name dragonfly lives now when green flag clicked go back to the variables the orange section and we want to put that in there so that when the green flag is clicked that Dragonfly lives set back to the full number of lives, which is five. Okay, let's finish copying code. The stars are replacing the snowflakes. So we get the snowflake code and give it to the star. And that one's not wanting to copy. Okay, let's try. Let's see if that worked. Okay, there's one. And let's try again for number two. And is it there? Yes, we have both sets of code now that we need for the star. Excellent. Okay, they match. Yes, there's the ones for the snowy owl that are now in the owl. The hair is now in the dragonfly. The code for the snowflakes is now in the star and excellent. Okay, so now we need to go back in and look at the code for the new sprites and change any settings or variables so that they apply to the new the new sprites. But first, let's get that background set up. So right now it's still switching to the northern lights. Let's make it stay on the night sky. And I didn't name it. So let's go to backdrops, give it the name of night sky, not blue sky. Excellent. Okay, back to the code. And we can see we're in the backdrop code. And it says when green flag clicked, we're going to start with that night sky and stay there. Okay, let's take a look at all the pieces of code for each sprite and change what needs to be changed. So let's choose the costume that the bat takes on. I like that one. That's a lot of fun when that's when the distance to the mouse pointer when he's flying and if touching the dragonfly, not the hare. And here's another variable. We've got energy because the bat needs to gain energy by eating the dragonflies. Okay, so we're going to need to make a variable for bat energy. So let's go to the orange, make a variable give it a new name, bat energy. It's for this sprite only. And so I click that and there we have it. Okay, and now I'm going to change. Now it's one of the choices on all the drop down arrows and I'm going to change everywhere where I saw energy before. I'm going to change that to bat energy. Also, you can see that it gains energy by eating the dragonfly. So let's go quickly into the dragonfly code and change that. Okay, 
Let's go back to the bat and make sure that all the bat energies are changed. So we'll switch in that variable there. If the bat energy is under two, then he starts fading away. Let's change all the bat energies to be affected by touching the clouds. Diminishes the energy because it's like he's flying a distance. Okay. Now let's go into the rabbit code and take a look. See all these settings that are set up for the hair? Okay, let's change those in Dragonfly. So we'll go all the way through and everywhere we see something that needs to be changed for the new game, we'll go ahead and change that. Doesn't need the polar bear, doesn't need to stay in the land. Both those can go. Let's switch the costume to the first Dragonfly. Doesn't need to stay inside the line by touching inside the land by touching that line and now we'll change this to bat because of course we don't have a polar bear but oh yeah we only have the one predator not two as we did in the previous game so we can get rid of that if touching the bat then it gains energy there's a message broadcast okay now let's take a look at the star all of those settings are okay but there's one yep if touching the bat not the snowy owl um, that will register the distance. And again, here we need to change that for the clones. And so there we have, let's double check. We have the code for the dragonfly. Double check all the settings by going through them very carefully. And let's make sure that we have those dragonfly lives being um, taken away when they touch the bat because the bat's eating them. Okay, so there we have by going down by minus one. We don't need the rabbit anymore. We've used that code. We've got it all set up. We don't need the snowflake. We don't need the snowy owl. Now we're all set. Let's move those variables just where we want them in our game. Okay, we got our bat upside down. I'm just going to click on the point towards the dragonfly and that will turn that bat right side up. Let's make a moon for our scene by going into making a new sprite and just painting one in a circle. Nice bright white full moon and put it where we want it. And let's test the game. There we go. The bat has to keep eating those dragonflies or it will fade away and has to catch the stars to get points. And here comes the timer star that's going to time us out. And now we have a night, a dusk, bat game remix. Thanks so much for coming. Really glad you could come by and hope to see you next time. Make sure you look below for all the ways to share your projects and follow our newsletters and keep in touch.